jobs keep the wolves in the hills and the women in our beds. Hey, is this heaven? No. It's Iowa. Hello there, Saturday Monkeys. Welcome back to Sky G Experience. I'm Benjamin, and today I am doing a review about this documentary that's on Shudder. And if y'all don't know what Shudder is, is more or less a movie, documentary, TV, streaming site for horror movies. It's strictly just horror movies. So it's like Netflix, but horror movies. And I enjoy it. It's only five bucks a month, give or take a dollar. Um, enjoy it. And they have this documentary. They're on the second season. It's called Cursed Films. And this is called Cursed Films 2, because season two. And this, they have an episode, and it's about the Wizard of Oz, and it's all about the dark myths about it. And it's very interesting, and I absolutely enjoyed it. And it was only 43 minutes long, so it wasn't too long, but it wasn't short. But it was excellent. And I'll tell you what it is. And I'm not going to give away spoilers. I'll tell you what the topics are about, and I'll let you dig into it and let you discover all the fine details. Oh, will you help me? Can you help me? You don't need to be helped any longer. You've always had the power to go back to Kansas. Excuse me? Why didn't you tell her before? Because she wouldn't have believed me. Are you out of your f***ing mind? A lot of people don't realize this, but this movie came out in 1939. A lot of people realize that. But what people forget about is it was released August 25th, 1939, in less than one week. Literally, September 1st, 1939, Germany invaded Poland, which started World War II. So this movie came out, and literally six days later, or seven days later, however you want to look at it, World War II started. Which means this movie did not get its European, you know, money, because no one was seeing it, because it was the middle of a fucking war. So this movie really didn't get its stride until afterwards when it was on vhs the world was over there's a lot of vhs tapes and it was slowly making its way around it was a few times it was in theaters then it started to get is wow this is a great movie this movie would be directed by victor fleming and a lot of people might recognize him from directing gone with the wind yes in his same year he would make wizard of oz and the next next movie would be gone with the wind that's a good year. Even though it wasn't released till January of 1940, they still consider it a 1939 film. But fantastic. There's really seven topics I'm going to talk about, but I'm not going to get too in depth because I want you guys to, you know, go to Shudder, watch it yourself, and learn it from yourself. But I'm going to tell you why I think it's a great documentary because they had seven good points of what they talked about, and it's very interesting. Uh, the first one would be the Tin Man, Buddy Epstein. He was, I guess, a really great actor in the 30s, and he was supposed to play the Tin Man. And he was doing these makeup, and without giving anything away, there's stuff in the makeup which made him very, very sick. And he couldn't do the movie, so they had someone else come in, and that guy ended up playing the Tin Man, which you see in the movie. But if you dig into the, the episode, it'll talk about all the reasons what happened about the makeup and what made that guy really, really fucking sick to the point where he almost died. They talk about the Wicked Witch, the, you know, the chick, the green face. She literally caught on fire at one point in the movie. And I won't tell you what part. Um, I want you guys to discover that yourself in the episode. But yeah, she literally got like second, third degree burns and she was like out for like six weeks. And there's more about it, but that's crazy. They had this one scene where the witch, the stunt double, had to go on the broom and do this one scene. And the, literally the broom, the end of it, it was like a small explosion and it was a fire. Not big, but it was just, you know, on the end of the broom. And that kind of hurt the stunt woman. Not badly, but enough to, like, damn. They talk about the munchkins of there was the myth of them being rowdy party orgies at the hotel because they all stay together it was really made famous by judy garland she did this one interview later on in life and she was really drunk and she was just like oh they're drunk little munchkins and everyone really took that serious and they really dig into that and you'd be interesting to find out what part of that was true and what part of that isn't true 
they would end up making this movie called Under the Rainbow. It was literally about the Munchkins in the hotel. Literally. I've not seen it, but I've, they talk about it. They show like video footage of it. And it's very interesting how they just did that. And the director that made Under the Rainbow, he said he just literally just watched it. And he's so embarrassed by how racist and sexist they were in that film. And he's embarrassed that he directed it. But, I mean, it is what it is. In the movie, they have fake snow coming down. Yeah, that was made of something that I won't tell you. Um, but it can make you very, very, very sick. Now you realize what it is. And, of course, they talk about the famous, famous thing of all about the Munchkin. Did he really hang himself in the back of the video? Or did they not? Or was that BS? Well, you'll get a straight answer. Do I think this film is cursed or not? Answer is no. I do not think this is cursed. It was just simple of being in the 30s. You're all trying new stuff. It's early. Your bad actions happen. It's just coincidence. But no. I 100% there's, not, there's nothing cursed about this movie. And if you want to go see the... There's a couple pairs of the ruby slippers. One was stolen, one's missing, um, but there is one pair at the Smithsonian down in D.C. Highly recommend checking out. If I ever make that trip down there, which I hope I do someday, I will totally check out those slippers. Hell yeah, baby. You watch this, and I highly recommend watching this. It's a great 43 minutes. You're really going to enjoy it. They do a great job at this. They're um, the first season, their episodes was only like 26, 30 minutes long. This was 43. So they doubled it up pretty much. And I absolutely loved it. Every Thursday, they come out with a new episode. I highly recommend checking this out, guys. Um, that was really about it. There's a few, a couple other things, but it's not really worth mentioning. I'll let you guys figure that out yourself when you watch this. Overall, it's fantastic. I really, really enjoyed it. And I really recommend. Again, it is on Shudder. All right, guys. I will see you guys later. Remember, if you go to jail, don't drop the soap.